What's going on guys, Vic BP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, it should be the final tutorial. We're going to be talking about the PC games and how to get into Rocket Launcher basically in case you had to edit any kind of inputs or emulator setting. Alright Robbie, last video, I think this is really going to sum it up. Let's talk about the PC games. Uh, a lot of updates to it. I got the games that you wanted, there's a couple of new games and such. Uh, for example, there you got your Blazing Chrome game that you requested. The only difficult thing when it comes to Windows and a PlayStation controller, it's a Windows versus Sony. Some games are not really totally accepting the PlayStation controller. Um, quick backstory, basically, this is recognized as D inputs, whereas regular Windows is X input. Um, Basically, on every game, I have it set to run the program called X360CE, which basically makes any game controller mimic an Xbox controller. Granted, with that, though, there are a couple of games, maybe like four or five, that just won't recognize it, even with the Xbox 360CE game uh, program running in the background. Um, let's launch one that you wanted, which is Blazing Chrome. Again, using the PlayStation controller, long press on the X button, just let it do its thing. And as you can see, it works. So this game right here, for example, it recognized it at the top as gamepad. Um, so most of these games are recognizing it as just like a regular gamepad. Uh, again, everything's basically configured already, so you shouldn't have to really do much. I do want to show an example of a game that didn't recognize it. But let's get some gameplay on this game. Definitely cool stuff like you kind of requested is that you do want like um, old school kind of retro feeling games. And again, this is reading. I didn't have to run X360 CE for this. I never played this game, so might as well give it a try. And actually, oh, it's underneath me. Uh, it's some of the games. Oh, you can see right there. See, press X to jump. This game. And more of the newer games, it does recognize the PlayStation controller. You could even see it there. See there, L2, R2. So, again, some of the games are recognizing the PlayStation controller. Some of the games don't, though. So let's rock with this. I'm not going to play this game too much because I do know that you wanted to play this game. So using, like, X and Square and X, got some stuff that said about L2 and R2. Let's see. Maybe we have to kind of get advanced. This is cool. It's kind of like a Contra feel. Can I get up here? Can. Cool. Very cool. Might have to add this to my uh, collection. Very cool. So again, this is mimicking an actual PC game. So I, I'm able to press start, which not most of the games do it, but once I press quit, I am back into the main menu um pretty cool stuff uh definitely want to show off let's see real quick hades was a good game uh we got mafia definitive edition that's a new one um do 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 biggest one was i have to get the artwork for this which is mortal kombat 11. Let's grab that real quick. So we'll try to launch that. Loading complete. Mortal Kombat 11 on the uh, C drive. It's on your M.2. Mortal Kombat 11 did recognize um, the PlayStation controller. So as you can see right now, it's just loading. Let it do its thing. No need to panic. No need to worry. No need to just press a bunch of buttons. Um, some games, like, uh, not really. It's mostly, any really even with Mortal Kombat XL, uh, it takes a few. Maybe like, you know... 30 seconds. As you can see there, we got the Mortal Kombat 11 logo. And don't worry, I'll fix hyperspin wheel to make sure we have Mortal Kombat 11 image. Just going to let it load up. And again, I do want to show off a couple of games that didn't recognize the um, PlayStation controller. So here we go. We got Mortal Kombat 11 using the PlayStation controller. This actually recognizes the actual PlayStation cool. controller. You can see on the bottom it says R2 is the store. And again, I won't play too much of it or I won't play it at all. I just don't want to waste too much time. Let's just get one real quick. The 
Joker. Sub Zero. The Terminator. Black got the newer Black stuff. We got Joker and the Terminator on this DLC pack. You tried to reprogram me. I would have made you kill a dinner. Incorrect. Round one. Well, I'm about to get my ass kicked. <laughs> Where did that chair come from just now? <laughs> Oof. I'm not a Mortal Kombat player at all. Can I hit a Hadouken? <laughs> Oof. Will it show me how to do a fatality? All right, it does. And again, this game right here is recognizing a PlayStation controller. So pretty cool. Again, the newer games are recognizing it. Oof. Oh, God. <laughs> again, I am not a Mortal Kombat player. Some people are probably watching this like, Jesus Christ. What the hell? Oof. Okay, Terminator. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm just hitting some random combos right now. <laughs> trying to pull off some Hadoukens. <laughs> Oof! Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I really don't want to press it too many times. Cause I'm gonna... Okay, alright, okay. Oh, I got one. Oh, I got a fatal blow. Okay. Oh, but I, I want to do a fatality. Oh. Oh, okay, cool. What do I got to do? Uh, mid. Hold R2 and X. No, I'm gonna mess it up. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> but there you have it. Some <laughs> Mortal Kombat 11. Wow. So, again, it's just like a regular PC game, so you're gonna have to exit the PC game like you normally would, and then it brings you right back into Hyperspin. I'm gonna exit Hyperspin real quick, I'm gonna exit it entirely. Big thing to always keep in mind, just like I did with Eugene's build, we do have a couple of main things here. There is a PC games folder. This has all the PC games on this system. So, for example, you will see, again, all the games to it. All of it, all of it, all of it. Um, while we're here, I do have this program right here. It's called X Output. Once I click on this, it does launch this program. And again, this program basically mimics a Xbox controller. Um, it works and it doesn't work. Some games do work, some games don't work. So some games, if you do recognize that you launch in Hyperspin and it doesn't work with the controller, you might have to exit entirely and run this X output. Unfortunately, I don't have it set to run with Hyperspin, only because if you launch this and then launch Hyperspin, we have a joystick confusion just like what we did with the the Wiimote set to mode 4, it's just a disaster. I have it set outside. This way, if you were going to play a game, a PC game, and you knew it's not going to work, I'd rather you launch it outside of Hyperspin. Because launching this, then going back into Hyperspin, relaunching the game, figuring out it doesn't work, going back and forth, I think it's just going to be too much of a headache. So keep that in mind. I also do, and as you can see, I just exited and you heard the Windows chime. I do also have another program called DS4 Windows. I haven't played with this too much. Um, I'm going to just create a shortcut real quick. And I'll leave it inside of the um, PC games folder. I haven't played with this. It's basically just like X output. You could basically just launch this and it'll mimic as an Xbox controller. Um, again, some games do not recognize the PlayStation controller at all, even with these programs. I'm going to launch X output 
and I'm going to launch Forza. Forza Horizon, you must launch it from the taskbar. It is not an executable regular game file. Um, I can't even have it in hyperspin. It has to be launched like in this kind of scenario. I right now have X output running. We are launching a game that normally should, uh, on normal, it will recognize an Xbox controller. But even with this X output program, it is not recognizing it whatsoever. So like this game right here, you will need to either use the keyboard and mouse um, or get a Xbox controller. But again, it's you have 236 PC games. Uh, as you can see right there, you see the bottom right? It's, it's jumping. Um, as you can see here, see it says unrecognized thing. Um, it's like every other time it'll work, but this is not going to work when you're playing an actual game. Uh, it's as you can see, like this is one that you're just going to need to use the keyboard or grab yourself an Xbox controller. I'm going to exit again. Not all of them do it, just a handful, to be honest. We're going to exit out. Uh, as far as a couple extra PC games, because you do, I know you are a retro. Um, I do have this game house wheel kind of thing. Not a wheel, it's just, um, it's more Popcat games. Um, you'll probably recognize like uh, Chains. Chains is a classic game right there. So you could just basically launch these from this. There is no hyperspin wheel. Again, you never know. Maybe if you're ever bored, you could play it. Luckily, these games are kind of. Um, uh, low data games. Easy. There you go. So we got game house games. Um, last thing I do want to show off as far as PC games, you have online enabled games. We have Battle.net, Epic Games, and Riot Games. I do want to show real quick um, Epic Games. I'm actually going to just have it so you have it outside. We're going to keep this launcher here. We're going to create a shortcut. And we're going to cut this. Big thing to keep in mind when it comes to Epic Games is uh, with my account, you do have uh, Grand Theft Auto Online. Um, that's a big deal, to be honest. Uh, and Epic Games, every week, they give you free games. Um, so it's pretty cool. You sometimes get some really great games. You get some odd games. Um, but the big thing is that if you go into your library, you can see a couple of games that I did download. So we do have Grand Theft Auto Five. This is I have this because I online Samurai Showdown. This is new Dungeons Three. Who doesn't like Ghostbusters? That's a new Ghostbusters game, Pathway, and such. So again, you do have a couple of games uh, that are here in this kind of little store that aren't in hyperspin. So again, a lot of PC games when it comes to it. Uh, Battle.net, uh, same thing. You can launch Battle.net. I don't think you're going to be using this too much, uh, but Battle.net basically is Call of Duty Warzone. I know you're not a fan of it. Luckily, I had space on it. You never know. You might be bored one day. You want to play it. Why not? You might as well have it. Uh, I think I should have done... Oh, there we go. So again, it's set to my account. Um, I don't need to worry because my credit card is not on it, so it doesn't really matter. You could create your own account if you want. So, for example, here I was downloading Warzone, but there are a couple of games. I don't know if you're a fan of World of Warcraft. You could always get that. If you are going to purchase something, I do highly suggest that you do get your own account. Um, do that. Uh, but again, I just downloaded this, honestly, for um, Warzone. You never know. You might like it. If I exit this, uh, I do not have these set to turn on when Windows turns on, so no need to worry about RAM getting eaten up. Again, you got League of Legends. I don't know. You might be a fan of it. Why not? doesn't hurt to try it, right? But again, you do have a lot, a lot, a lot of games on this. Um, PC Games 2020 is just all these uh, newer games. Uh, do, do, do F Drive is my older stuff. Uh, PC Fighting Games, I have that in its own kind of folder. So if you want to just play some fighting games, it is there. This is just so you know it. If you do want to go into the rocket launcher settings to figure out what emulator is launching what, you click on a folder, you go to your C drive, arcade, and then right here I do have the rocket launcher UI shortcut. 
Again, the only reason you would ever, ever, ever go into this is if you wanted to see maybe a location of a game uh, or where you're, what emulator is being read for that system. Maybe you want to edit um, a gamepad input or a setting or not a setting. I would say like if you wanted to edit an input. Um, basically, on the left here, we do have our list of games. Uh, I'll show you one that you might, maybe if you're bored, you might want to change it. Uh, I have it set to how you wanted it, but just in case. Let's look at the Sega Dream, uh, not the Dreamcast. Sorry, I got the hiccups. Um, let's look at like the Sega 32X. So let's say you've been playing Sega Genesis games or uh, Sega 32X games, and one of the buttons isn't what you wanted it to be mapped as. You basically click on the system here, and the big thing is here underneath this Emulators tab, it will show you the default emulator, which is called Fusion. Emulator is called Fusion. You want to know where that is because we have to locate the emulator. A couple things you could do. You could go to Global, and still under Emulators, you're going to look in this list to find Fusion. And here's Fusion. Make sure it's not me covering it. If I double-click on Fusion, it will tell you the path to where this emulator is located on your computer. So it's under Hyperspin, Emulator, Sega Genesis, Fusion. So if I go back into my C drive, right, it said hyperspin, emulators, and then you can see my whole list of emulators. I'm looking for fusion. Do, 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 do. I don't see fusion. Let's go back. Oh, it's Sega Genesis. I need to find the Sega Genesis folder. Sega Genesis folder. And Fusion is the exe, the, the, uh, um, the uh, Jesus Christ, the uh, application. <laughs> now here you can see I launched the emulator. If I right click, I'm actually able to go into options and set the config. If I press escape for this specific emulator, it kind of gives you into a minimized mode. It might be easier to see. I go into options, set config, and then there's usually always somewhere to let you do input or controller. So as you can see here, I have port 1 set to the DualShock controller. If you wanted to adjust, you press Define, and it will basically let you adjust, but it's going to adjust all of it. It's going to ask you press up, press down, press left, press right. Right now, I don't have the second player 2 on, so player 2 right now is just blank, but if the controller is on, it would read it. Again, I am here to help you. Uh, Feel free to message me first before you go in depth like this, but just in case you know where to find stuff. Other than that, I think I hit everything I possibly wanted to hit. Amazing system, Wiimotes, PlayStation 4 controllers, insane. Robbie, this is going to be in your hands very shortly, buddy. Thank you.